I'm in London with the Sony a7 IV and the 7 Artisans 50mm f1.8 lens. This is the first autofocus lens from 7 Artisans. Every lens prior to this has been a manual focus lens, so I'm really excited to give this a test. It does have a few great features as well, like an autofocus manual focus switch on the lens itself, so you can change the setting without going into the camera. It also has a declicked aperture ring, and the body is made entirely of metal. Now, how much this lens is going to be, I'm not entirely sure. Seven Artisans haven't officially released a price, but I'm gonna put a guess at around 200 to $250, which if that's the case, this might just be one of the best budget 50 mm 1.8 lenses you can buy. So let's give it a test and see how well it performs. So it's turned out to be super wet and I've had to take a minute, avoid the rain, because this lens isn't actually weatherproof. So I can't really get it too wet and I shouldn't get it too wet, but hopefully, you know, it won't get damaged, won't damage my camera. We'll see how, you know, how that turns out. But once the weather's kind of brightened up a little bit, if it brightens up, we'll go out and get some more photos. For now though, I'm gonna go grab a coffee. Just met up with Sham, our friend here. Hey, how's it going? Super great artist, by the way. Check out his website, <laughs> www.muragaya.com. Cheers. <laughs> great guy. And we're gonna show you some portraits with this lens. So as you can see, the weather has not improved. So we've gone for another little coffee break and uh, hopefully it'll brighten up. I'm not holding out hopes though. I don't think it's going to. If I can't get any more photos, I have to take some more another time. But let's see how we get on. So I've been shooting with the Seven Artisans 50 mm 1.8 lens pretty much all day around London. I've had to stop a bunch of times because the rain's been so bad, but there's been two main issues with this lens that I've noticed so far. So the first being the autofocus manual focus toggle. This tends to accidentally switch just when you're carrying the lens around, putting it in your bag, whatever. You'll notice it, you'll pick it up, you'll try to focus. Oh wait, it's not working, I'm in manual focus mode. Why? Don't know, because the switch just tends to switch itself. It's very easy to knock, it's so unreliable. This is gonna be a big problem for photographers who are constantly taking their camera and putting it in their bag, taking it out of their bag, because that toggle is going to switch. The other thing is the aperture ring. So this declicked aperture ring is great for videographers who want to change the aperture on the go. But for me, I've been taking photos and suddenly I'll go from auto mode to just slightly moving it off and it'll be in manual mode. And I'll try and change the aperture from the camera and it doesn't work. I have to look back at the lens and change it back to auto. Again, these kind of things are going to be problems if you're trying to get quick photography, trying to get very important moments that happen very quickly. For example, 
if you're a wedding photographer and you're taking this lens around with you and suddenly it goes from autofocus to manual focus mode, that's gonna be a real problem and you're gonna miss some very important photos. I'm hoping Seven Artisans will fix this in an updated release. Maybe this is a sample and they've noticed this problem and they'll be fixing it. I don't know for sure though, I'll contact Seven Artisans and I'll leave a comment in the description and let you know if they've addressed this or if this is just gonna be part of the lens. So I've taken quite a few photos now, sort of reflection shots, things like that. One thing I'm noticing is that the autofocus is lagging a little bit, it's quite slow. I don't think I'd be getting this issue on you know, Sony native lenses or anything like that. But it seems to be working pretty well. Here are some photos, you know, from the reflections and stuff. And yeah, I think some of these are pretty good. I think we need to remember as well that this is a budget lens. This is not, you know, a thousand pound Sony lens. This is a budget lens. And I think for most people, it's going to perform pretty well. I'm walking back to St Pancras now to get the train. The camera is packed away in my bag. I'm not going to use the lens for any more photos. Knowing me though, there'll be some really amazing photo opportunity that I'll totally miss now. Some career defining moment that I've totally wasted, but uh, you know how it is. But I think I've used the lens enough to kind of get an opinion on it. I've enjoyed using it. It's, it's a really good little lens, especially if it's gonna be reasonably affordable, around $200, $250. I think it'll be a great first lens for beginners or even just someone who wants an extra 50 millimeter lens. There have been a few issues like the autofocus hasn't been particularly quick. And also that manual focus, autofocus toggle, that's super annoying. I was also worried about the lens being heavy because it's 420 grams, which isn't actually that heavy, but it's a lot heavier than some of my Sony native lenses that I've got, which are really small and lightweight, particularly the primes. But it's nothing compared to, you know, a 35 to 150 from Tamron, which is heavy, really heavy. So 420 grams really is nothing. I don't think it's gonna be a problem for anyone looking for a, a lightweight lens at least. But I'm gonna get the train, head back, have a sort of think about the lens and see if there's anything extra I need to say at the end. Just got back to the car after getting off the train and yeah, I think the lens is pretty good. If you're looking for an affordable 50 millimeter f1.8, I think this is definitely one to consider. There are a few issues like the the autofocus, manual focus toggle. If they don't fix that, I think it's gonna be a big issue. I think a lot of reviewers are gonna pick up on it and are gonna mention it. If you're a wedding photographer, for example, and you need that autofocus and suddenly, you know, you're taking a photo and it goes to manual, that's gonna be a really big problem. But hopefully Seven Artisans address it, maybe release a slightly improved lens. Maybe my sample's just got an issue with it and it's not gonna be an issue on the major release. We'll see. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. It really helps out my channel. If you wanna see more from me, subscribe, hit that bell icon, all that good stuff, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.